All right, it's Carrigan time. And uh, one thing that Carrigan is very good at is Dust 2. And he plays an instrumental role in, in his team's survival and and in the creation of opportunities when it comes to the T side in, in particular. So we're going to be looking at that a little bit. And uh, so at the beginning of this round, he's of course got the Yorp and he's up against the buy of the enemy team. And he'll hang around for the first uh, 15 seconds of the round in T-spawn. Just taking some pot shots at the double doors. And you can see he actually did tag rain there. But after you know 15, 20 seconds have passed, he has to move with his team. You don't want to hang around too long for too long at T-spawn. Because you know right here, you can see that he's helping in the, the effort to take control of the middle and catwalk area. And this is the thing that Carrigan does. Which is... Orp entry in towards the B-bomb site and uh, he has a teammate on the other side so that he can't get peaked from CT and this is very very strong very very strong indeed and if you've got a good Orper you should definitely be trying to, to try uh, to learn how to do picking from this these angles and you can see he will actually find the first frag there they did spot him but because he's got the cover and uh, he's also got presence I think it's pretty it's usually device used by catwalk uh, indeed it was then it's, it's going to be a pretty easy situation for Carrigan to, to take the shots and not feel too pressured. But then, of course, you know, after making such uh, awesome picks towards the B-bomb site, his team is going to get in there. And he's just holding on to this position. You can see he's pretty stable. And uh, he's also the angle that he took that shot from was pretty far to the left. So the other guy had to expose himself quite a lot. So Carrigan moves a tiny bit to the right and the other guy gets exposed much more. Now he's just taking cover um, to be safe to clean up the, the rest of the players who might be wanting to take a jump across. Okay, so new round. We'll have a similar opening out of Carrigan. But generally speaking, it's going to be a different end, as you'll see. So firstly, just taking you know the very ca standard casual picks across the doors. And again, gets a tag. But you can see his team, you know, is moving in with the default rounds. Upper dark control, lower dark control. We've got a guy in uh, in A longhouse and so on. And uh, the pop flash has come in to remove any CTs close from the double doors. Very important to do that because otherwise he can hear all this movement on catwalk for free. However, there is a guy in CT that can hear that by now anyway. But you can see the effort here is not from Carrigan to pick into B from middle with the support of do free. This time he's joining device by catwalk. Cat uh, device is usually going to be the catwalk guy. And so the effort will just go to slowly but surely clearing out this A bomb site. So we're going to see how Carrigan moves to do that. First things first, we're going to see a, a smook from Carrigan there. And that's going to kill anybody or kill the attempts from anybody on the slope to actually pick from CT spawn because they know there's a guy down there. And also it allows the coverage of the players from TSM to drop down into the smoke. So it's quite an awesome smoke. And uh, you can see he's moving with his team now, Carrigan, to try to get the uh, the picks. And you can see he's the guy responsible to try to take the long pick against the Opera on, on long. And he's going to do a good job there. So now, I mean, pretty much job done in this round from Carrigan. He's got the bomb down. He's cleared the long for his team. And he just has to hold the... And you can see he's using the barrels to, to play these long-range engagements. And because he's got the high ground, it's pretty effective. So in this round, it's essentially all about Carrigan's individual skill and his role will be slightly different it will be quite similar as well but towards the end is uh, we'll see him covering flanks as opposed to opening up the rounds uh, with entries or opening up the bomb site by taking specific long-range duels that the AWP is solely suited for and you can see at the start of this round he finally actually gets a kill thanks to his due diligence applied to the double doors with that AWP of his Quite a, quite a mouthful, that sentence, but, but there you go. Another little pop flash in there into the smoke to try to help himself get past middle and also to prevent rotation as his teammates are moving into the A bomb site. So tagged down to 1 HP, kind of lucky that he's alive. Um, and we'll see how much that actually plays a part. And of course, you know this kind of individual skill that we're about to see is going to come from many hours of practice. And uh, he's got the call from his teammates that there's three players coming at... And, they probably know the other one is as well. So we just see Carrigan murdering the rest of the players. Just wanted to throw this round in there because it's pretty awesome to see Carrigan just doing the Carrigan things. On the CT side, Carrigan is a player that tends to give up any significant responsibility in so far as carrying the main sniper rifle for the team. And KGB often performs that task instead when they're playing a more defensive setup. KGB will be kind of the car orper. 
And if they want to go more aggressive or take more risks, they put device on the mid orb, essentially, which is a bit more risky, but you've got a star player on the job. Anyway, Carrigan is going to be the long guy. Often see a player like MBK in this position. So it'll be interesting to see how Carrigan, of course, you know, holds this position with his teammates. Because what we'll have here is a bit of a delayed long take coming in from G2. And the nades are spotted sailing over. You can see that he's got a set nade there. And then also a set incendiary, which serves as a cordon off for the players that are on coming and you can see that it's so so finely designed that uh, the smoke allows them to think that they can move the blue truck just as the incendiary comes and they're stuck in this in the, the incendiary and probably blinded and as we saw there burn alive indeed so it's a beautiful play there from from Carrigan and uh, in this round he's actually going to be forced to move back to the a bomb site um, after some time has passed as there are two players about to go for a split and you can see that in this position here is He's uh, covered from both short and from long, but at some point he has to make a call as to which player to go for, and he uses the sound to do that. And now, you know, he's just pe peeking for a moment, and he wasn't really visible very much from Catwalk, so he's able to keep playing the sound, keep playing the positions, and uh, eliminate his opponents. Very nice round from Carrigan, actually. Now here, perhaps for the first time, we're going to see a round that does not necessarily go according to TSM's plan. Uh, Zimnix is going to be able to defend the initial poke towards a long, which was just generally there to delay rotation, and it kind of effectively did that. Not maybe to its maximal potential, but we see that the retake is starting to happen here, and Cajun B goes down immediately. So now what you got is a two versus three with Zimnix and Carrigan left, and uh, Carrigan's going to go through dark, and he knows that he has to move fast here because he needs to get into position in upper dark very quickly to support Cage, uh, Zipnix properly. So he'll try to take the pot shots here. They know there's a guy at the back of Plateau behind the crate. Get some good damage in, and his teammate is going to throw the incendiary. How awesome is that? And that's going to burn Rain alive. But now, even better, Carrigan will throw an incendiary to eliminate a position in the corner of the bomb site, and then he'll take the frag towards the site. And look at the cover, it's just gorgeous. Beautiful retake there from TSM. Good coordination, indeed. 